11.6 is called center and spread visually. So center is really like a median, whereas spread is like a range. Kind of makes sense. A range is how far spread, how far, or the max minus the min, what the difference is. And so we've got data set W and data set X. We're comparing the center of W to X. What I want you to think about is kind of making, call it a bell curve in statistics, statistics class that kind of goes over the data everything always makes a bell curve wherever your highest point at is at that's usually um, like your your center your median and so I can tell that these scores are lined up here's 86 here's 86 so I would say the center of data W is less than what X's is it's less because I see its center is around I don't know 83 84 ish here in the center, whereas this one's like 86. And then the spread, I can see how wide my bell curve goes. It looks like it's also less, oh, I should have even gone over this, less spread than what data X was. So that's on a dot plot. Let's look at number two on a histogram. It says the center of data set M is blank than data set N. So again, you can kind of look at it or if it helps you, draw a curve over it all and so it looks like this middle this middle is less than this middle and then the spread you can see where this also is again less spread than how far this is um, and so the last one is a box and whisker plot the center, this is the easy one to tell, the center is literally the median, the middle line. And so the median in data set P is here, whereas in Q it's here at 69. So 65, 69, again, uh, the center at P is less than Q. And then the spread, you can see the whiskers goes from here to here. That is also less spread. I didn't mean to get all of them to be less than, sorry. Less spread than... Uh, data queue.